Hi there and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr Hegarty here and we're doing a GCSE Maths video on solving equations, two-step equations. This is video one. So in this video we want to talk about solving the following three types of equations. Something like 2x add 3 is 13, 4x subtract 7 is 2 and 4 brackets x subtract 7 is equal to 2. Okay, so let's start by doing some examples. So um, we want to solve this for x here. Now the first thing I always want you to do, I want you off to the side here just to say what happened to x. The first thing that happened to x is it got multiplied by 3 and then 4 got added. So to go backwards, what we're going to do is we're going to subtract 4 and we're going to divide by 3 to undo this. So we're going to do this in a two-step process. The first thing we're going to do is subtract 4 from both sides and draw a line under it there. And so our next line would be that we have 3x is equal to 21. And now what we're going to do is divide both sides by 3. So divide both sides by 3 as follows. And we're going to get that x is equal to 7. And then we're going to check our answers right. 3 multiplied by 7 is 21. 21 add 4 is indeed 25. I know I've done it correctly. Next example. 7x subtract 3 is 2. So what happened to x? The first thing is it got multiplied by 7 and afterwards 3 was subtracted. So to go the other way, we're going to add 3 and we're going to divide by 7. So there are two reverse steps. So we're going to add 3 to both sides. And we're going to get that 7x is equal to 5. And now we're going to divide both sides by 7. So divide both sides by 7. And we're going to get ourselves that x is equal to 5 divided by 7. 5 over 7, or 5 sevenths. Now, um, don't be afraid of a fraction like that. It's absolutely perfect to leave your answer like this. Do not decimalize it. Don't get the calculator out, okay, and do 5 divided by 7, and then put 0 0.7 as the answer. It's not. It's better to leave it as an exact fraction. Now, can we check these? Well, we can because, look, 7 multiplied by 5 over 7 if I'm substituting back in here, subtract 3, well, we know that the 7s effectively would it cancel each other out there, and 5 take away 3 is 2. Example 3. 7x subtract 3 is equal to negative 2. So what happened to x? Well, we multiplied by 7, and then we subtracted 3. So going backwards, we're going to add 3 first, and we're going to divide by 7 if we're going this way. Okay? So... Uh, let's do that. So we're going to add 3 to both sides, draw our line, and we're going to get that 7x is equal to, well, what? Well, if you're unsure, draw a number line out. Here's 0 on your number line. You start off at negative 2. Negative 2 is here. I'm going to add 3. So we're going to add 1, 2, 3. We get to positive 1. So the answer here is 1. Therefore, dividing both sides by 7, we get that x is equal to 1 seventh. And we can check that because 7 multiplied by 1 seventh, subtract 3, the 7's cancel, 1 subtract 3 is negative 2. Example 4. Now, the reason I showed this, we've got 5 is equal to 7x subtract 4. Usually, we have our answer as x equals with x on the left-hand side. Now, we could just solve this normally. Um, our, we could just solve this by doing operations to both sides. I just prefer, it, I just think it's easier if we swap the sides around and say that 7x subtract 4 is equal to 5. I think that's easier for us because that's the way we've been doing it previously. Um, and so we're going to do our work in that form. Now, I'll show you it, what would happen if we had just kept it the other way over here. Now, what do we do here? Well, what have we done? We've multiplied by 7 and then subtracted 4. So going backwards, uh, so going backwards, we're going to add 4 and divide by 7. So we're going to add 4 to both sides. So we're going to get ourselves that 7x is equal to 9. And we're going to divide both sides by 7. So that x is equal to 7 over 9. So x is equal to 7 over 9. And it's in the form we usually get. 
Now, if we had gone the other way and just done five is equal to seven x track four, it would have been exactly the same. I just want to show you there's no difference at all. It's just the x is on a different side of the equation. Okay, so we would have nine is equal to seven x, and then we would have divided both sides by seven, and so we would have got that x is equal, sorry, uh, uh, nine over seven. Here in this answer, I just realized there for whatever reason, instead of writing nine over seven, I wrote seven over nine. So it's nine over seven here. So we get the exact same thing. I just think it's easier to do uh, swap the sides there just to keep our x's on the left-hand side. Okay, another example. Example five. We've got seven multiplied by x subtract three is equal to two. Now the easiest thing in this case is to multiply our brackets. If you're not sure how to multiply brackets, make sure you watch the video where I show you how to multiply out a single bracket. Anyway, seven multiplied by x is seven x, and seven multiplied by negative three is negative 21, and that's gonna be equal to two. Whatever you do at this stage, do not expand that as seven x subtract three. That's the absolute classic mistake to multiply the seven by the x, yes, but then to multiply uh, but to not multiply the seven by the three. So do not make that mistake, please. Right, anyway, at this point, we can think about what happened to x again. Well, we multiplied by seven and then we subtracted 21. So going backwards, we're going to add 21 and we're going to divide by seven. So we're going to add 21 to both sides. And we're gonna get ourselves that seven x is equal to 23, and we're going to divide both sides by 7, and we're going to get ourselves that x is equal to 23 over 7. Now it's a little harder to check this on the uh, to check this, but if it was a calculator paper, we could get the calculator out, and what we could simply do is we could say that 7 open brackets, and then we're going to write in uh, 23 over 7, and then subtract 3 close brackets and we get the answer too, so we know we've done it right. Okay, and example six, this is our last example. Um, I'm just gonna do a classic mistake right now. So here's a classic mistake, see what I'm doing wrong. Can you see what I've done wrong? It's easy under the pressure exam to forget that brackets mean multiply. This means three multiplied by two, not three add two. And three multiplied by negative three, not three uh, add three in some way, okay? So that's an absolute no-no. Be sure, be careful to check your expanding brackets. If you get that wrong, the whole lot's wrong. Three multiplied by two x is equal to six x. Three multiplied by negative three is negative nine is equal to three. Now what happened to x? Well, x, we multiplied by 6 and we subtracted 9. Going backwards, what we're going to do is we're going to add 9 and we're going to divide by 6. So we're going to add 9 to both sides as follows. So we get ourselves that 6x, 6x is equal to 12. And then we're going to divide both sides by 6 as follows. And we're going to get that x is therefore equal to 2. Check our answer. 2 multiplied by 2 is 4, 4 subtract 3 is 1, 3 times 1 is 3, I know I got it right. Okay, so they're the examples I want to show you. I'm going to, show, I'm going to give you a page of questions, you try the questions in 10 seconds, I'll show you the answer. So pause the video here. Okay, and I'll show you the answers now. Here are my answers to those questions. Hopefully you got those right and you're now an expert at two-step equations.